walked out to check the mail and I think I saw bees flying. It's only like 40 to, in the mid, mid to high 40s. Walk up here and see. That is definitely bees. Don't see any there though. Don't see any here, but I do see some there. Oh, there are a couple. Looked like they was dragging out some dead bees. We're done here. That's just kind of normal part of winter. Is they will drag out their dead bees. This almost looks like robbing though. Probably ought to try to get some sugar water on these. I think I'll go in and do that right now. 13 cups of water I'll bring to a boil. And although you can't see it now, there is 6 pounds 11 ounces of sugar. Now this will make slightly more than a gallon, um, and then I fill then I fill up quart jars. And uh, tomorrow I looked at the temperature; it's supposed to be 52 degrees. So tomorrow would be a good day to put them on there. Well, sometimes I do this differently. Sometimes I'll add the sugar and then just stir it until I notice it dissolves. Sometimes I will bring it to a boil, shut it off, then add the sugar and stir it. Um, you don't want to overboil sugar. Uh, I know that sounds crazy, but you can actually do that. And uh, when I'm making small batches like this, I'm just going to make, you know, slightly more than a gallon. This method is fine. I'm going to bring the water to a boil, turn the uh, stove off, dump the sugar in, and then stir it up. Um, I should be able to tell that the sugar totally dissolved. If it didn't, I can turn the heat back on for a few minutes, but that way I'm not bringing it to a boil. Being that it's almost spring, I'll also add my bee recipe. What this is, is it has stuff that will get rid of nosema and some other stuff. You take one cup of water, one teaspoon of tea tree oil, one teaspoon of wintergreen, one teaspoon of spearmint, ten drops of lemongrass. You have to put this in a blender and mix it because you have to emulsify the oils. But also put that because uh, they'll probably need that after that long winter cooped up in the hives. Okay, now you can see that the water is almost to a complete boil. I'm going to go ahead and shut the stove off. I will add the sugar. And it almost 
every time it fills this full. Then I'm going to add just about three tablespoons of this medicine. Now if you have cats, which I do, you want to be careful about this because there's something about this they do not like. One, two, ain't got to be an exact amount, three, the lid back on it there's something about the smell I don't know if it's wintergreen spearmint or lemongrass or the tea tree oil does not do good with cats Basically, you just stir it till it goes clear. And we're done. So now I take it and add this to quart jars. And uh, by tomorrow, to be cooled down enough where I can put it on the hives. And uh, that's all there is to it. I actually do see a little bit more in the very bottom. It's not dissolved. You can see it because it'll turn like when you stir it like that and then stop when you get it going in a circle like this. The undissolved sugar will, will make it to the center. It collects in the center. It kind of looks like white snow in there. Let me see. You might be able to see it through just a little bit left. See it there? That white dot. Just about right at the end of this. So it's really easy to tell. I know I've seen other YouTube videos where people are just boiling the sugar and that is bad. It's always bad. Anyways, that little bit of undissolved sugar that's in there right now will go away here in a little bit. So it's not that big of a deal. I thought I could go ahead and show you how I fill these up pretty easy. I just use a ladle, mason jars. A lot of times I use mason jars that are like broken and stuff and I'll just swap from one to the other. The lids don't have any holes in them. So it's just a normal canning jar. And uh, I just fill them up and then by tomorrow they'll cool down enough. Uh, one thing I normally do, though, is I use if you can food, you probably have one of these funnels. So I use that over top of the jar. Let me see if I can turn that where you can see it. Readjust the camera somewhat. There we go. Now you'll be able to see. I could have actually moved this over some. That might work. And I just fill them up. It'll take about two hours for this to cool down enough. Maybe longer. I'm thinking it's about two hours usually. So... Too late in the afternoon right now it's like four o'clock so by the time it cool down the sun will be going down I can just do this tomorrow but using this like this with this ladle and this funnel you don't spill or waste any I usually try to get the jars pretty close to full Which is just about to the 
see I got it almost to the lip right there just below this lip you can see the liquid then what I normally do I get the second one ready see if I can do this where you can see it so I put the second jar down and I transfer the funnel from one to the other. I put them real close together. Transfer the funnel from one to the other so it don't drip. Then I just cap this one. Sometimes the caps are kind of hard to put on because I reuse these jars over and over and over again. There we go. I don't put it on too tight. They're just kind of snug. Then I go on to the next one. My cat is outside there right now, and the smell of this mint will dissipate before he comes back inside. And plus, I have the lids on these jars, so whatever is in the air will dissipate, and that'll dry up more than likely before he comes inside. So we're all done. Tomorrow we'll get the bees fed.